A rerun of an earlier broadcast, and you know what that means? That means my hair is going to look really goofy. Thank you. If you want to have some fun, get an orchestra or a band in your living room and just try this a couple of times. It's an unbelievable release. Ah, I feel much better already. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the program. My name is David Letterman. My God, I didn't know they were loaded. Uh, I'll be the host here for the next hour, and if you have any questions uh, here in the audience, do me a favor, keep them to yourselves. Now, kind of an odd thing. Uh, we come to you from New York City every day. And uh, what's one of those crazy only in New York kind of stories? Did you hear about this, Paul? No, Dave. A woman on her, on her way into town this morning, pregnant woman, obviously, has a, a, a baby. I mean, obvious that she has a baby because she's pregnant or whatever. And uh, the baby is delivered with the help, by the help of a, a friendly passenger. <laughs> Co coincidentally, that's how the baby was conceived about nine months earlier. Because, you know, ladies and gentlemen, here in the friendly city of... I don't know if you've read about the corruption. It's widespread here in New York City. It's sickening, isn't it, Paul, the corruption? Sickening. What does it do to you? It makes you sick it when you get up... Makes me sick, yeah. personally. A corruption. It's unbelievable. Today, a judge in Brooklyn who had been accused of taking bribes found himself not guilty. I... I... You, you can hear me all right, can't you? I don't know. Can you see me? Am I standing in the proper position tonight? No, back here? Oh, well, that was it. I was perhaps a little too close to the camera there. <laughs> How about this uh, Marcos family? Boy, those guys are nuts, aren't they? they uh... Now, they're living at uh, Hickam Air Force Base. Is it Hickam, Paul? Pardon me. Yeah. In uh, Hawaii. And every day, Ferdinand Marcos is on the phone complaining about something. Today, he was bothering uh, Senator Paul Laxalt. He says, you got to put an end to this. Apparently, uh, Imelda, his lovely wife, every day since they got to Hawaii, has been receiving flowers and candy from Klaus von Bülow. So you know it's... <laughs> Let's get rid of these cards. Give me those cards, Kevin. <laughs> Are these the ones right here, Kevin? These are apparently not the real show jokes, were they? These... <laughs> I, I think what we have here are test jokes, so uh, these should never, never have come out here. These are, these are blanks, ladies and gentlemen. In the event of a real attack, <laughs> you would have been instructed where to tune in your area for news and official information. <laughs> this concludes this portion of the test. <laughs> Can't even tear up. Ladies and gentlemen, my musical director for the last 26 years, Mr. Paul Schaefer. Paul? Wow, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Boy, yeah, has it been that long, Dave? 26 years? Yeah. I tell you. Paul you Schaefer, the... by the way, uh, this Friday night, is it Friday night, Paul? Yeah, this right, coming Friday. Right night. here on the NBC television network, the number one commercial network in the great land of North America. Uh, we'll be hosting Friday night videos. What time does that come on, Paul? I think it comes on the same time as we come on. 12.30. 12.30 on Friday and night. And you'll be hosting it with... Co-hosting it with Miss Whitney Houston. A lovely let woman. Me, She's been here. I think you'll have a nice Let me tell time. you, yeah. I was kissing her as much as I possibly could on TV. Did you, was it fun? All, yeah, she was great, actually. We had a good time. All right. Did you mention me at all? Am I mentioned videos. on the telecast? We mentioned you a little bit. We also play uh, the video that we made in the band, Dress Cool. Oh, okay. Which we made for this show, the film special. This will be the, only the second time this has been aired, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, kind of almost sneak preview video. That's good. Well, congratulations Thanks to you. Thanks a lot. Uh, now, I have an apology to make. Last night, ladies and gentlemen, we thought that tonight we were going to be able to debut a brand new piece of late night television technology. We have the Sky Cam, of course. We had the Guest Cam. We had uh, Paul Schaefer had a camera on. And tonight we had hoped to bring you the miracle of the late night monkey cam. Now, <clears throat> I would have been a, a little monkey with a camera on its head. Uh, the monkey was a capuchin monkey. His name is Bo. He's 30 years of age. 
He weighs six pounds, has the head the size of an orange. Um, he has appeared on uh, Good Morning America. Coincidentally, David Hartman has the head the size of an orange, too. But... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the brain the size of an orange. <laughs> <That is my favorite. laughs> it's, only, it's only a joke, kids. Uh, the monkey, a bow, enjoys fruit and coffee. He knows over 40 tricks. Uh, same can be true of uh, some of us on our staff. Um, he can ride a pogo stick. Uh, travel, oh, he, <laughs> he travels with a backup monkey, Bo does. And uh, spends most of his time in trees. Uh, the camera was uh, from Optical Resources, 12-ounce processor, developed in 1984, so on and so forth. Turner Broadcasting uses it to cover hockey, the monkey cam. <laughs> it says here. Uh, but anyway, as it turns out, uh, the monkey is a little too small. How, we have some uh, videotape that we made this afternoon during rehearsal. How can you show them the videotape we made of the yeah, monkey cam? Something. This is the uh, test tape of the monkey cam that we used this afternoon. and. Uh, no, no, no. Half, no. No, that's not. No, that's, uh, that's a mistake, Hal. That's the, that's the Stevie Nicks video, Hal. That's the, here comes the uh, test uh, monkey tape. So, now this is our, only our first attempt at it. Now, here we are working. They're applying the backpack to the monkey. And the monkey was just a little too... There's a shot from the late-night monkey cam. But as you can see, it's just, uh, it's, it's not perfect, damn it. And, and until it is perfected, we're not going to put it on our show. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get a larger monkey, right? How big a monkey? Uh, one with a head the size of a grapefruit. What? We'll get us a chimp, then it'll be the uh, chimpanzee cam. But we'll, uh, we'll get it to you as soon as possible. So we have a little something else to do. Do we have time to do that? Our, oh, Paul, you can help us with this. These are things that we found in uh, supermarkets. These are actual items. You can go into any store in this country and pick up these, and uh, they're for sale. You have anything for this? Supermarket finds? Yeah. Supermarket <laughs> finds. <laughs> Exchanging <laughs> glasses. Supermarket finds. Yeah. yeah. Nicely done. Gosh, he's terrific, isn't he? All right, here's a, here's a container of something. It's from the friendly folks at Armor, and uh, can you see what it's called there? It's pork brains and milk gravy. <laughs> This answers the question, what is the opposite of an appetizer? <laughs> right there. Uh, this is nice. This is a, a container of lime jello, but what you do during rush hour, just put that on the top of your car and you can go through intersections with it. <laughs> Did we hear anything there? Howard, do you have a siren for us? <laughs> the monkeys have taken over the audio booth. All right, here's something called mildew cake. Mildew cake. From the bakery that just doesn't care. It's Bo or, or David Hartman. Uh, see, we have these uh, ropes here. The monkey was going to climb all up and down those ropes and take pictures from the monkey cam, but we, we need a bigger monkey. So if you have a bigger monkey, crate him up and send him in. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, don't do that. No, no, don't do that. Don't say anything. Don't do that. We're only, don't only say teasing. Anything like that. Here's something called pure glucose, one of nature's finest foods. Can you see that? Pure glucose. And on the side here, in a little tiny yellow uh, box, it says, not suitable for intravenous injection. <laughs> Honey, you got the wrong brand. <laughs> Here's something called, take a look at this, folks, 69 cents, you can buy yourself a box of <laughs> mouse seed. Just how naive do they think we are? Uh, this, we have a container of something called, can you see that right there? White jelly fungus. <laughs> Paul, I, th I think you'll have to agree with me. For my money, 
pound for pound, the best blues guitarist ever, wasn't he? White, white jelly fungus? White jelly fungus, yeah. Without a doubt. I mean, nobody could come close to this Who was man. that guy who he used to uh, hang around with? Come on, come on. Oh, by, by the way, this stuff is suitable for intravenous injection. <laughs> All right, Howard. Yeah, I won't do that one. Are we, how are we doing? Okay, here's something called jerky bits. Pretty much what we're doing here tonight, isn't it? All right. All right, here we have a box. Uncle Sam, a natural laxative. You know, I believe this was the worst one-man show Hal Holbrook ever did. <laughs> Uncle Sam. Oh, there's the siren. Thank you very much, Howard. Somebody turn a hose on, Howard, will you? And finally, get ready to cover me, Paul, here yeah. in case there's gunplay. Uh, this is something called Aunt Fanny's Apple Bunny. <laughs> Sounds like the special at a New Jersey whorehouse, doesn't it? <laughs> Supermarket Okay, now uh, we'll uh, we'll get you the uh, new improved monkey cam uh, just as uh, before you know it. Look in the TV guide; it'll it'll be mentioned there. We got a great Michael Keaton will be here in a second. We have a we have a container of this uh, white jelly fungus. Paul, we're going to open it up, see what it is. Let me uh, let me tell you first what the how do they describe it on the back here? Uh, an excellent alternative to other desserts. We steam boiled select white jelly fungus with rock sugar, like in the old days. Yeah, that new fire, that new uh, wood-burning boiling almost put the white jelly fungus industry out of business. But thank uh -oh. God, it's just like the old days now. Well, let, this is a dessert, Paul. You want to try a little of this? Mm. Come on! I think it's more like a floor wax. <laughs> <laughs> white jelly fungus. Uh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, you, you, you got to give them points for accuracy. It, it looks like white jelly fungus, doesn't it? Woo! Ooh, ooh, I don't know. We'll uh, let that come up. What kind of sugar? Camp. What kind of sugar did they say to you? Rock sugar, some kind of rock sugar. Well, get some of that out here, and then we'll see. Well, will you try it? If I get, you get some rock sugar out here. I might try it with some of that. Bring out my first guest, then we'll, we'll eat later. Okay. Uh, it's always a pleasure to welcome this man to the show. He is, uh, for my money, one of the funniest men making movies today. His latest film is called Gung Ho. I saw it earlier today. It's a very funny film. Please welcome Michael Keaton. Come on out here. Whistlers, how you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm Are you a whistler? Do you whistle? No. I can't. Could you whistle when you were a kid? No, that's pretty lame stuff. No, my brother could like. My brother could do two things great. He could whistle like this, and he was a good spitter. He's a real cool spitter, like baseball players. Are real oh, cool yeah. spitter. Yeah. He was a real good spitter, but I can't. There's a guy who works next to you with some whistler in the back. I was coming out. He, he, he really great. Did you ever see guys workmen who who can't? They never whistle a tune. They just whistle like busy whistle like. Yeah. <laughs> There's no real tune. If you stop and say, what's the name of that song? Go, uh, let me see. Uh, well, it goes. <laughs> it's like that hum, that nervous hum. <laughs> There's no so you're not a great whistler yourself as a boy. Whistle, huh? Yeah, yeah. So how you been doing other than that? Everything all right in your life? Pretty good. Yeah, Pretty you good. look good. Thanks. I'd like to get a little more uh, sleep. You're traveling now with the film, promoting yeah, the movie. Yeah, yeah. I'm out there uh, hustling this sucker. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you don't get a lot of sleep. I can't sleep in a hotel room anyway the first night, so I'm, I'm like one of these. And I'm so, you know, I have a little boy who's about three now who said a great thing to me the other day, <laughs> by the way. We're in the, usually I get and take a bath with him, you know, and then I go over and I go in the shower, and he waits for me. And <laughs> I'm in the shower, and he's sitting in the tub, and this is what I hear. I hear him looking in the shower at me. He says, hey, nice penis, Dad. <laughs> I swear to God. You, uh, I swear to God. You, uh, you, you may want to keep your eyes on the boy. 
I don't know. He. Uh, I'm not even going to. Uh, he may. Uh, may ne that. They never have to go into the army, but the that would be. The, <laughs> <laughs> the kid is an art lover. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now you're... You but know, I you look at him, you know, I put yeah. him down to bed at night and he goes to sleep, you know, and I'm so jealous because the kid is gone. Babies are like, you know, I want your baby sleep. Yeah. It's great because they're good. gone. Man. Everything's relaxed, you know. Grown-ups always have that, that, those, it's like REM town, you know, you got... <laughs> <laughs> you got those guys working, jumping around. Then you enter that state... There is that great state where you're just about to go under, you know, you slip off into that, that zone where you say things that make no sense whatsoever, you know, you start to go, yeah, well, I'll put some ice on it. <laughs> Steam will get that out. Of <laughs> you, start going, you start going, and then you get nerve. And the thing is, if you're sleeping with somebody, they could be watching you, you know, you're out of control. The body has said, we're gone, Jack, yeah. we're moving, you know, and it's, it's got a mind of its own. And you get, where you really start to go, you get those little nerve jerks. You are. <laughs> Please. You, uh, you always try to get your control back. That's what it is. It's giving up control, really, you know. Get, yeah. Just go. And if you have somebody, I mean, it's embarrassing because if somebody's staring at you and you're sleeping, your face is like, like this, what? And you're, you're making noises. And, <laughs> and when you're really gone, you get that little bit of saliva right out. <laughs> you ever fall asleep on your arms? Oh, yeah, yeah, gone, we, yeah. It, you just fall, they're gone, and you just wake up, and you can't do anything. Yeah. And, they, and you think, that's it. This is it, man. They're never coming back. Yeah. And the phone rings. You go, hello? <laughs> oh! <laughs> what do you look like? How do you look when you get up in the morning? Do you look pretty good? I don't look good to any part of the day, you know really. You a great idea, and now a photo, a photo, um, a book of photographs of famous people and what they look like when they get up when in the morning, because it's yeah. bad, but it's people in movies look great. Yeah. But usually, you know, if you've gotten up, usually sit on the side of the bed in the morning, you know, it's good. <laughs> and you got a crease here, you know, like, like this. You got to work that guy out. It looks, and your hair, usually, you got like one of these guys going up in the back, you know. It looks like there's maybe a little concussion bomb in your pillow. <laughs> and it, like, if there's a person in bed with you, you know, on the other side, you know, she's usually going like this. You know, real work. And if you make noises, if you want to get out of a relationship, make a lot of morning noises. You know, if you really want out, just wake up and go. <laughs> people always deny they're sleeping you know, when people call on the phone. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know why that is. I mean, I don't understand why people just don't say, yeah, I was dead. I was gone. I was out. But yeah, you can't. Somebody put you in a vulnerable position, and you don't want to admit that to the person who called. And it never sounds convincing, does it, no. when you say, did I wake you? No. Uh, yeah. You usually answer, you, you exaggerate the alertness. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> so you're not getting any sleep is the deal. I ain't getting yeah. no sleep. I ain't getting the satisfaction in no sleep. No, no, you're doing all right. You're, you're, you must be doing all right. Yeah, I am. Let's, uh, you want to talk about the movie a little bit? We got to do a commercial? All right, let me, uh, let me scoop you up some white jelly fungus here. <laughs> oh, while we yeah. Take, take a look at this commercial, and uh, then we'll be right back. Could be one of our sponsors one day. You never... Yeah, your hair? Woo! It's gone. Yeah. It's out of there. You know when you start... There's phases of baldness you go through. Like, you know, first when you start to lose a little bit of hair, you, you feel like a little, just a little rain just kind of filters its way mm -hmm. down to your head. Mm -hmm. A lot of bald guys out there hip to, but the, the shock. Bald the, guys hip to this? Or hip to this. Are, are bald guys hip? Can oh, you be yeah. bald and be hip? Yeah. <laughs> but the real shock is the first time one goes past the hair, right to the scalp, like, uh -huh. whack, little rain drip. <laughs> boom, boom, your eyes blaze now, now, let me ask you a question. Since you, you mentioned that you're thinning out there, now when you do these major motion pictures... Hey. Fake. You're using some help. I'm using some help. What do you, what do, how do they put it in there? Uh, I usually, I look, I root around through the garbage for <laughs> anything I can put up there. No, but you, is it like a, can I, can I talk about this? Sure, I don't care. Is it, you put a hair piece on there? No, I don't wear a piece. They kind of, uh, I have an artist come in and, oh, is he going to be mad at me? <laughs> this guy going to be mad at me. But how does he get to stick to your head? White, white jelly Go fungus, white maybe. White jelly <laughs> Gum on. He uses some gum on. No, I don't know what the stuff but is. But you know, I I, 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 I've seen, I think, uh, all but one of your films, and you can't tell that there's anything different about no, it. No, the guy's a genius. All right. Yeah. Also, I act like I have hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do pretty much have hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go on, no. It's out of there. Well, out of there. Yeah, but you know. Raindrop. Bam. Woo. Uh -huh. You want to you want to show? We have some uh, footage here of the film. This, this is Gun Ho. Yeah, I thought this afternoon, and I was very impressed. Thanks. I think it, I think you're terrific, and I think the movie would be real successful.
Yeah. I don't don't put that in the ads, by the way. <laughs> I'm real funny. <laughs> yeah. That'll be real successful. Don't, yeah, don't use my name in the ads for that. <laughs> uh, so tell, tell the folks about the movie. It's uh, Gung Ho. Gung Ho. Um, and and uh, it's about a guy who goes from a small town of Pennsylvania to Tokyo to convince the Japanese to come over and revive a, uh, a defunct auto plant, which happened in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Remember that town in Tennessee? The guys went over and learned how the Japanese work. What town was it? Bristol, Tennessee? It, no, it was outside of Memphis, and I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. Some strange name, like Sneem. Sneem. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have an affiliate in Sneem. Sneem, Sneem. Case Sneem, I think, is the... Uh... <laughs> so, so, I think, I don't know what, what's on this one, but there's this, there are actually training academies over there for, for uh, we got to hustle, right? For uh, guys to, be, to learn how to be executives yeah. in Japan, and they're very, very strict. And this is true, these guys scream and yell and beg to have the job. And I'm looking for the plant. That's when mm -hmm. I just get to Tokyo, and I'm this looking. This is your, your first visit to the uh, yeah. corporate offices yeah. there in Tokyo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Michael Keaton and probably other actors, and the movie is Gung Ho, and it'll be released soon, won't it? Yeah, this Friday. Okay, good enough. Watch it. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's a great actor. Yeah, he's very good at me. Yeah, Getty, Getty Watanabe is like that. Now, uh, <laughs> people laughed at this, and that must make you feel real good. Have you been to yeah. a screening of the film where there's a regular audience? No. No. I usually, honestly, I, I like to not see it until it goes to the theater yeah. and then pay the money. But this one I have seen, but not with everything done. This, this was uh, directed by uh, Ron, Ron Howard, Howard yeah. who is the best. Yeah, he, yeah, this is your second film together? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like I've had a long career. Yeah, Ron and I have been there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and yeah, he, was, uh, he was actually in the film that you did for us, the little uh, yeah. short film. Yeah. yeah, which was, oh, boy, I tell you, I had a great time. It this is my favorite nicely. show to do. Well, by thank the way. you very much. It really much. is. I just love. I always have a good time here, and that was the best. Yeah, and that's Clint, what I like to do. Clint Howard is also in this. Yeah. Movie, who was in the short film? And, yeah. and I'll say it again, boy, is this guy a piece of work. <laughs> Woo! He is. And, he is Ron's uh, uh, younger Andrew brother. Calls him, she calls him the brother from the other planet. Yeah. yeah. From another planet. Yeah. yeah. The movie is very funny. Yeah, it is funny. Yeah, it's yeah. uh. You mean this one or mine? No, yours. Yeah, it is funny. Uh, <laughs> no, this, this one. Whatever we just uh, gung ho here. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be. It's gonna right. be a good movie. And you mentioned when it's coming out, Michael? March 14th. March 14th. Uh, when are we on here? We're on Day tonight. Before. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Tomorrow. Two days away. All right. Thank you for coming. Thanks. Nice to see you again, Michael. Right. Congratulations. <laughs> we got a most unbearable, but we do promise the regulator guy is on his way. Unfortunately, the sizzling season premiere had to be preempted last week, but there's no stopping him now. The long wait is over. Strap yourself in for the television event which has been hailed a celebration of lawlessness and violence. Chris Elliott will be the regulator guy, Thursday on NBC. Be there. <laughs> <laughs> the regulator guy. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. I hope you enjoy that. Do I have Arnie's phone number out here? Arnie Barnes uh, lives in, in Omaha, Nebraska, and he works for a uh, meat plant. Hal, roll the video while I dial here so people, folks don't get bored. We're going to call Arnie. He's got a little story to tell us tonight, and it'll take about uh, three minutes. You got the Stevie Nicks deal up there, Hal? Okay, well, I've already dialed. Now I've completed the dialing, Hal. Hal, can we get you some white jelly fungus? we got plenty out here. Oh, thank you. All right. Hello, is, uh, is Arnie there? Uh, who is this? Uh, Arnie, this is Dave. Uh, you ready to go? Okay, here, here's Arnie Barnes all the way from Nebraska, folks. Arnie, what's the weather like there tonight? It's cold and rainy. Uh -huh. How cold is it, sir? Oh, about 35, I think. Okay, Arnie, now go ahead. You have a little story prepared for us, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, is this an actual, something that actually happened to you? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Arnie. Uh, well, I don't think this is very funny, but everybody told me to say it. Okay. And, yeah, I remember this, this happened in my younger years. Uh -huh. How old are you now, Arnie? Nineteen. <laughs> so this is like when you were 11 or what? Oh, uh, close to it. Okay, go ahead, Arnie. Uh, one night I uh, had a party over my house. What was the occasion? It was a Saturday night. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and we was all sitting around playing quarters. You know what, what that is? No, I don't know what that is. It's a drinking game. Playing corners? Quarters. Quarters? Yeah. How does that work? Well, you got a glass, and you fill it up with beer, and you uh, bounce a quarter off the table into the glass, and if you make it, you give it to somebody, and they got to drink it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So we was playing that for about half the night, and I had to go to the bathroom. So I, I got up, and I was gone for about an hour, and everybody started wondering where I was. And one of my friends walked in the bathroom, and there I was, my pants down, passed out, sitting on the can. 
So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, a, wait a minute, Arnie, is, is that the story? Yeah, that's all I can think of. Wow, wow, Arnie, uh, take some time off, pal. All right. Uh, has this happened much in your life? Just once. Yeah, just once. All right, Arnie, well, well thank you very much for that story. All right. Yeah, how, how are things at the meat plant? No, I'm still working. What did you do today? Press strips again. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, what does that mean? Shape the meat. You're shaping meat. He's yeah. shaping meat, Paul. Okay, Arnie, nice talking with you. All right. All right, bye-bye. It's bye. Arnie Barnes, ladies and gentlemen. All over the Wow. Wow, what a, what a story. Ah. <laughs> Open up the door, and there he was, passed out. Arnie On the Barnes. Air. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> what a raconteur this kid is. Uh, we'll be right back here. Mario Hemingway is here tonight, so come on back, folks. The important thing is Sam's camping. <laughs> no, no, we, no, no, see, no, don't do this to me. No, 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 see, <laughs> see, we're trying to disguise the fact that the only reason you agreed to yeah, be on the I show was to plug this restaurant. Yeah, I food on this restaurant. You've had the most disgusting food on the on the well, show. <laughs> you call this disgusting? We do not disgusting? serve this. We do not serve this in our restaurant. Uh, no, no, wait, wait a minute. We have to ease in to mentioning the restaurant. See, <laughs> okay. because the people in the, in the uh, control room are saying, oh, it's, you've got to be very careful. We have departments, legal activity going on here. You can't, you just can't come on and plug a restaurant. Oh, okay. You have to pretend that it comes up naturally in conversation. Oh, but it doesn't. <laughs> no, 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 but this will be fun. I, I think when you see okay. this at home tonight, if you're not working at the restaurant, you'll be surprised at how easily we, we uh, grace into, into this. this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The fact, that, the fact that all this food here well, and all we'll that stuff... We'll get to that a little okay. bit later. Let's just pretend you and I are chatting in someone's living room, perhaps. Okay. Or perhaps at a restaurant somewhere. Okay. <laughs> and what restaurant might that be? Uh, <laughs> see, there's a little music. Excuse me, could I have another beer, please? <laughs> uh, Service is rotten here. Now you, you, met, come up. <laughs> yeah, you met this guy. What's his name? Did we cover this already? <laughs> What's his name? On the last show. No, no your husband's um, name. Stephen Christman. And what did he do at the Hard Rock Cafe? He was one of the managers there. Mm -hmm. So, so he had he it in his, his mind that he might open a restaurant. One yeah, day. he's opened many restaurants with his brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, what other restaurants has he opened? He opened the Hard Rock in London mm -hmm. and the one here. So he's he, got a lot of experience. Yeah. 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 And you came along, and of course you had the dough. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. We're we're easing into this. All right. <laughs> And how did you people get in my living room? But you know, seriously. Um, so, <laughs> thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. So, and have you any interest in owning a restaurant at this point when you met your husband? Well, I mean, we sat down and talked about it, and I had always wanted to have some sort of business. Some, mm -hmm. something what, what did other you want to do? What do you, what do you, <laughs> you said I'm some sort you. of a business before well, the restaurant. What did you? What, something did you, tangible. I mean, movies are. Fleeting, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> so you wanted something solid, maybe yeah. real estate, maybe... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what it was, just to have something to do Stocks in between and films. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not stocks and bonds, but something creative that, that, I could, that I knew would be there every day. Mm -hmm. and, um, and now you have the restaurant. And now I have the restaurant. Now, do you actually work in the restaurant? I'm there every night. I go and I have dinner and I make notes about the food because mm -hmm. I did the menu and I did the decor of the restaurant. The name of the restaurant is what? Sam's Cafe. Now here's where they're having the strokes in the control room. <laughs> oh, I hope they don't give the address. Oh, please don't let her give the address. Oh, if she gives the address, fade to black. What's the address <laughs> of the place? You know? It's 80th Street and 30th. Oh, damn, she said it. Oh. <laughs> I can even give the telephone number. Um, Okay, now I have the menu here. Let me uh, have a cow on the menu, painted like a, a New York City yellow cab. Yes. That's cute. Yeah. Well, what's the significance of the cow on there? Is this like a, a big beef no, restaurant with a no, salad bar? No, it has absolutely nothing to do with beef. It's because I love cows so much. Singing waiters and stuff? All the no, beer you can drink? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Getting the wrong Is idea. Is this affiliated with Tad's at all, this place? <laughs> It's a steak chain here in New York no, no, City. No, 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 no. Oh, they're screaming no. in there now. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> but cows are like your... No, I just like cows. You like cows. I but think. you don't eat meat. Well, no, obviously, you, you know, you wouldn't eat meat if you like cows. No. no. Okay. All right, let's just uh, quiz you here on the menu. Okay. Uh, the soup of the day, what was it today? What soup will it be today? Tonight? Will be All the little restaurant music Cream here. of asparagus, I Cream think. of asparagus, and for a nice bowl... <laughs> What do you get for I a nice Paul bowl? Paul had it once. What, He's what? been there. 
Three, three and a half for cream of asparagus. <laughs> Would you pay three and a half bucks for cream of asparagus? Sure. It's not, it's not expensive for a good New York restaurant. It really isn't. Pasta of the day. What is the pasta today? Um, I'm not sure, actually. Okay. I'm not sure All what right. the pasta of the day. Okay. Those are special, so I'm not sure of the special. Now, here, here, this is kind of an interesting item for a cow lover. Grilled Angus strip. <laughs> There are other is there some kind of a some kind of a vegetarian the... meal is that? No, there's fish. In fact, I brought you some fish. We have fish. This what is in here? honor of what I first did on your show. So oh, that's I brought right. You, you some. You came on. I and cleaned, cleaned it myself. And what is this? What kind of fish do we have here? It's tuna. Tuna. Which we actually grill in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Now let's and see what that goes for. <laughs> Grilled tuna with fresh ginger, snow peas, and scallions. How much? What is that? Oh, sixteen. Seventeen ninety-five. But ah. I'll tell you what. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you people go in there tonight and say that you saw it on this show, ten bucks. All right? Ten dollars. Go just in. Gave my husband a heart no, no, no. He's dead. No, no. My just, is just dead. tonight <laughs> only. Tonight. Well, actually, it'll be tomorrow night because by the time people see this, it'll be too late. But tomorrow night, you go in there. Ten bucks for the for the well, anything on the menu. Ten bucks. <laughs> You, you'll get an appetizer, you'll get a salad, you'll get a, you'll get a main course, a beverage, and some dessert. Ten bucks. Damn, that's awfully generous of you. Fortunately, we're all booked tonight. No, but you know, tomorrow it's a wonderful night. way to get the place. Yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I think so you'll thank you me for it. You open a place and you'll go to Oh, no, no, because a lot, you know, a lot of restaurants, that they have a huge attrition rate, you know? You have yeah. to be very careful. <laughs> it's good that you're there watching it every night. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Do you cook at all? Do you actually get I cook? do cook, but I don't cook in the restaurant. Okay. No. But I had a lot to do with the menu. Right. Well, we'll be over there. Thank you. Ten bucks, folks, <laughs> tomorrow. Ten dollars. <laughs> with Gregory Hines, whom was here last night. This is her first visit to New York City, so please give her a warm welcome. Comedian Roseanne Barr. Come on out. <laughs> Well, it's a thrill to be out of the house.